we're going to draw the Lewis structure for CH2Cl2 or dichloromethane. Hydrogen, carbon, and chlorine are all non-metals. Therefore, there's going to be a sharing of electrons here instead of a transfer. That's because it's a molecular or also known as covalent compound. So we're not gonna have electrons jumping from one atom to another. We're gonna have atoms sharing electrons in covalent bonds. Now let's figure out how many electrons we're actually sharing here. Uh, carbon is in group 14, so it brings four valence electrons with it. Hydrogen is in group one, so it brings one electron but there are two hydrogens, so it's one times two. And I'm gonna add on, well, chlorine's in group 17, so it brings seven valence electrons, and there's two of them as well. So I got four plus two plus 14, which makes 20 electrons total that I'm gonna deal with. Now I'm gonna start by putting my carbon in the center. Of these atoms, carbon can make four bonds, which is more than these can make. So I put the thing that can make the most bonds in the center, and then I surround it, in this case, by two H's and two CL's. Now I'm going to draw single bonds to hold it all together to start with. That's two, four, six, eight electrons that I've already dealt with, and I'm going to need 20 total in the end. So I am going to fill the octets of the outer atoms. Now, hydrogen doesn't follow the octet rule. It follows the doublet rule. It's already happy with this one bond containing two electrons. So I'm not going to touch the hydrogens. I do need to complete the octets on the chlorines. So I'm going to add in electrons here, count up to 20. Two, four, six, eight, already dealt with. Nine, 10, 11, 12. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Now I'm going to stop because I'm at 20. But luckily for me, each of these chlorines already has a full octet. And this carbon in the center also has a full octet of electrons. This is my complete Lewis structure for dichloromethane, CH2Cl2. Thanks for being with me and best of luck.